That's right. I'm reviewing Captain Toad Treasure Tracker for the Wii U. Yep, as the game starts, that's, that's basically the plot. Tony gets captured by the legendary Wendigo bird. And the story plot is plain and simple. You're playing Captain Toad to rescue Toadette. Also, spoiler alert, there's like three more stories out of these ones. The game game is pretty simple. Oh, you're basically playing Cat and Toad until then, so both of them play the same. You pick up turnips and use as weapons and so are the pickers. There's to find hidden treasures and find all the, the gems. And every each level, oh, you collect stars and pull switches and solve puzzles. That's basically all you do in this game. And get stars at the very end of the levels. And you have to use your touch screen and to go here and there. And they'll give you more challenges on the way. Like how many times you have to challenge it. Touch. And you complete it. And find keys to find hidden doorways. And have multiply powers just like in Super Mario 3D World. Which, by the way, was part of that game series. Well, 3D game. I want to make sure your other character touches the other buttons. Or about you being spotted by the shy guys. This game has so many challenges, you have to make sure you do it. I usually use the touch screen when you hold still the enemies so you can easily get past them without being noticed. This game has many challenges on the way. Like, for instance, not only do you have to use the touch screen, you have to, like what Toad did, turn the wheels around. And then most likely blow into them. And you want to make sure you complete the game 100%. And later on, the game will be a bit more of a challenge. Like that Minecraft ride he just took. If you move the screen around, you'll throw unlimited supplies of turnips. Make sure you hit, hit the blocks and, and the gems as well. This game was also restored with a Nintendo Switch for extra stages. Which I will not do. Because we're talking about the original Captain Toad of Treasure Track. Also, the first time that Captain Toad finally gets his own game, besides always become a playable character since it's the early 90s of Super Mario Kart. I mean, Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo and other Mario games. He was in being a playable character to Mario Party games and some other... Er, Or strange Mario games when he was first playable since Super Mario Brothers 2. Oh, and you do have to collect amounts of coins for extra lives because it wouldn't be much of a Mario game without you collecting all that lives. And not to mention awesome bosses. But there are only two of them. A dry goon. 
own what you'll be finding in not once, not twice, but three times in the row in the Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. You have to go up the ladders, and make sure you hide behind the walls with your protection, because you can't use turn up against the Dragoon in boss. You have to reach for the star and get to the very top while avoiding lava. And once you get to the very top, I'll be defeat this amazingly well-designed boss by having the tower jump on, drop on his head, and he's defeated. But don't worry, you still live through it, and you still get the star. This game has many stages to complete. And pretty good music to listen to. Not to mention the graphics are amazingly good for an old Wii U game that came out in 2014. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to mention... And the game stages will make you find some hinting in coins and extra jams and all that stuff. But like in most Mario games, Toad will take like two hits and die. Because if you lose all your lives, it's game over and you have to get to use the pick or, or one to get more lives. Also, right where I'm pointing at, Toad can also use a cannon if you use the Wii U tab. But to aim at enemies, just by seeing it on screen, and shoot at coins and gems. Later on, the game will become more of a hustle between you and other interesting enemies to jump on or throw turnips at them. Right here, for example, you have to jump on these floating platforms by blowing into them. And every once in a while, when you complete a stage, you got get a bonus stage to get the most coins by using the Multiply Cherry. Anyways, here's the final boss. When they go. This is pretty much more of a challenge than you would think it'll be in the game. You'll be thinking, wow, this is it? This is how we got to defeat the final boss? Well, not quite. First, you have to pull up all the switches, hit side buildings here and there, knowing which way she'll fly. Solve the puzzles here and there. Climb up there. And you finally get to the very top. I'll use oversized turnips. I'll switch at the void, taking damage. And throw her right back at her. Do it three times and she is finished. We get this cute animation. Enjoying their victory. But no, we're not done with this quite yet. We're not finished yet, folks. Unlike consoles, Stadia doesn't take up any space. Free your mind at the one place for all the We still got plenty of more to talk about this game. So we'll do this in part two of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. So leave a like and subscribe to this video, y'all.